Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. The amount of different Pokemon products on the market has never been bigger than today in 2024. This causes a lot of people to worry about which products could turn out to be the most interesting ones to collect or to invest in. Now in this video I'm going to share my top 5 picks for Pokemon investing in 2024. Now as always my friends, before we start with this video, I have to mention a small disclaimer. Nothing in this video should be considered as investment or financial advice. I'm just sharing the items that I will be investing in this year, nothing more and nothing less. Now with that out of the way, let's start with my very first Pokemon investing pick for 2024. On the fifth place you have in my opinion one of the best Pokemon sets from recent years and that is of course Hidden Fates. Now the set was released in August of 2019 and it had the highest number of secret cards to that exact date. Obviously as a special set Hidden Fates didn't have any booster boxes so the products that you could buy were the Elite Trainer box with a total of 10 booster packs and a special promo card, 3 different tins with 4 booster packs and a Charizard Gyarados or Raichu promo and of course you also had the pin collection boxes with 3 booster packs, a promo card from you or Mewtwo and a special pin featuring one of both Pokemon. Now besides these standard products you also had a couple of special Hidden Fates collection boxes as the Ultra Premium collection and of course you also had the Great Ball and Ultra Ball collections. Now my personal pick is the Elite Trainer box because you are betting on not one, not even two, but three horses at the same time. At first you have the collectability aspect from the ETB itself from which I think it will always stay a very popular collectible for sealed collectors. But besides this you also have the value of the packs that you can find inside and besides these packs you also have a very special promo card which of course is the stained glass promo featuring Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. Now this promo card has a current market value of around $17 in near mint condition and it is my guess that this card could still see a great appreciation in price going forward. It's a fantastic looking promo card, it has a very unique design and it's only to be found within the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. Now if we take a look at the current market value of a Hidden Fates ETB, I think it's very safe to say that this could still be a very good entry point. At the moment of recording this video we can see that the current market value is laying somewhere around the $170 price mark, which if we look at the chart from the last year turns out to be a more than decent entry point. Now everything put together, it is my guess that the Hidden Fate CTB is for sure one of the best Pokemon items that you still can invest in now in 2024. The next item on the list is the Japanese Pokemon Stamp Box. Now especially if you were a new collector, then chances are that you will probably never have heard about this box before. This box was released in August of 2021 and obviously as a Japan exclusive. Now the collection contains the Anytime Anywhere Family Pokemon card game, you have two unique promo cards featuring Cramorant and Pikachu, one stamp sheet with Pokemon card artwork and there are three types of transformation cards with Pikachu, Eevee and Charizard. Now I have to say I personally think this is one of the very best Japanese boxes that have been released on the market over the last couple of years. A total of 80,000 of these boxes were made so the edition size isn't that very limited but I still think this can be a great box to have in your collection and could be ending up also being a very good investment. Now I have to be honest there are some things that you have to take into consideration before you plan on buying this box. Let's take a look at the population report on the website from PSA because then we can see that the Full Art Cramorant promo card has a total population of not less than 10,379 graded cards at the moment of making this video. 8,110 of those got the PSA 10 grade. Now if we take a look at the Full Art Pikachu promo card then we can see that that one has a total supply of 11,687 graded cards from which 10,169 cards got a PSA 10 grade. Now obviously these numbers are huge. However I personally would like to own both of these cards and a PSA 10 in my collection. I think these numbers are making it very clear that it could probably take a while for these cards to appreciate a lot more in value just because of the simple fact that there are so many graded copies out there. Now this having said I think that the big population of graded cards from this box also makes it clear that a lot of these boxes were opened and split. Now if you are planning on buying a Japanese Pokemon stamp box, always check if it actually has the stamp sheet included. Normally it is not allowed to export the post stamps out of Japan, so a lot of the boxes on the market were actually sold without a sheet. 
it's easy to check if the box actually has it or not because there is no really something as a fixed seal around it. You can easily open it up and close it again afterwards without hurting the value of this box. Now at the moment of recording this video, the market value of this Pokemon stand box lay somewhere between 300 and 350 euros. For a pretty unique collection as this with such beautiful and very unique promo cards, I believe this is still a more than decent price to pick it up for. It's my expectation that this box still has a lot of room to grow over the next coming years and it's definitely a very nice item to add to any Pokemon card collection. Just a very quick interruption here to ask if you enjoy this type of content then don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for a lot more Pokemon related content. That would really help my channel to grow and would of course always be appreciated. Now without further ado let's continue with the rest of this video. On the third place you have the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. Now obviously the price of this box did already increase quite a lot since the MSRP was only $120. At the moment of recording this video we can see an average market price of $360. So yes, we could definitely say that this box did already turn out to be a more than decent investment for everyone that was able to buy it at the original MSRP. Now a lot of times when an item has seen a pretty big price increase already, I'm always a bit anxious to still invest in it. This having said, I think even at the current market value this box could still be a more than decent pickup for your collection and for investing purposes. This box is not only a great collectible on itself, but also has very good contents. Now inside this Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection you can find two commemorative metal cards featuring Base Set Pikachu and Base Set Charizard, a special gold version of Pikachu V and a special gold version of Pokeball, a Charizard and Pikachu pin, a metal Pokemon coin, not less than 17 Pokemon Celebrations booster packs, 8 additional Pokemon TCG booster packs, a player's guide and 3 special storage boxes. Now I don't make this statement a lot, but I think that at one point this box could easily be worth a price of $1000 or euros or maybe even more. It's a special unique box that was released for the celebration of the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. It has a lot of exclusive contents inside and as the value of the booster packs of the different Sword and Shield sets rises that are included in this collection, also that is going to affect the value of this box in the future. Now everything put together I think this box is an absolute winner even when you don't own this box yet and you still have to buy it at the price that it's going for on today's market. On the second place in this list of my top 5 picks for Pokemon investing in 2024 I have Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Boxes. Now I know this will come as a surprise to a lot of people but it's my opinion that Elite Trainer Boxes are somewhat overseen in today's market and I am not sure if that's absolutely correct. Everyone by now knows that the Sword and Shield booster boxes are seeing a gigantic uptick. Now at the moment that the booster box becomes a lot more expensive, you are facing the risk that it becomes out of reach for a lot of collectors out there. Now the second best thing to buy at that moment could be an Elite Trainer box. Especially because several of those boxes from the Sword and Shield era also included not only booster packs but also a unique promo card. Now one of the Elite Trainer boxes I'm personally taking a look at at this moment is the one from Fusion Strike. At the moment of making this video we can see that this very beautiful looking ETB has a market value of somewhere between $41 and $44 according to the data on TCG Player. Now at the exact same moment we see that the value of a Fusion Strike booster box is laying somewhere around the $230 to $240 price mark. And just also look at that insane price jump that it had since the end of February. Now personally I think this is a fantastic set from which I think it still has a lot of room to grow and then I'm not only talking about the booster box but definitely also about the Elite Trainer box. And obviously this is just an example because I think several Sword and Shield Elite Trainer boxes are still pretty underpriced at this particular moment. Now are you looking for a bit of a more exclusive item? Then of course it's also worth considering the special Pokemon Center ETBs. Also this version of the Fusion Strike ETB seems to still be a more than worthy investment at today's prices. My personal number one for Pokemon investing in 2024 will definitely come as no surprise to anyone. After the recent price increase a lot of the Sword and Shield booster boxes had, a lot of people seem to be worried about the future value of these boxes. And I get it, as I've mentioned before in this video, buying an item that just jumped up in price always brings in an extra risk that you always have to keep in mind. But in my opinion the Sword and Shield booster boxes could, even at today's prices, still be a good buy for the future. 
As I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, even an already very expensive Evolving Skies booster box could be still worth it to invest in. This is a great set with amazing art and in my opinion could easily turn out to be a $1000 or Euros booster box. I consider booster boxes as the absolute blue chip Pokemon items on the market and I'm still standing behind my previous statement that Sword and Shield is one of the very best eras in Pokemon. It brought so much people back into the hobby. I mean guys, I definitely don't see any reason why these booster boxes will not turn out to be more than decent collectible and investment for the future. Well my friends, this brings me to the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about my top Pokemon investing picks for 2024 and what you are planning on investing in this year as well. Now if you liked this video then also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That would be so much appreciated. Now thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye.